how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So on the last one, I said that this one would be talking about pen name. Um, I know I have definitely mentioned in a previous vlog at some point that my, that Isla Golden is my pen name and not my actual name. Um, I can't remember exactly what I said about it at the time, other than that was the fact, that was a, that was the case. Um, and I know I certainly haven't explained or gone into much details to, to why and where the pen name has come from or anything like that. Um, I don't plan to reveal what my actual name is because I think that would complicate the channel a little bit too much. Um, I want to be Isla Golden for my writing and so it's important that for the sake of this channel that is who I am but I will acknowledge that my actual first name is not Isla <laughs> um, but my actual last name is Golden. I, you know, I love the last name Golden. It is from my point of view one of the best surnames ever. It, um, certainly um, when I decided that I was going to use a pen name I didn't want to give up Golden and even sort of before um, I, I decided I was going to have a pen name, um, I'd always thought, you know, even if I got married, I would keep Golden as as my author name um, because it's just, it's just, it just, it's a good, it's a good name. It's a good name. <laughs> it's a very, very good name. Um, so, ah, where, where's the best, where's the best to start? Um, I guess with Isla itself. Um, so, as a teenager, I was a little bit obsessed with pencils, um, as were quite a few of my friends, um, and I made this rather bad joke one day about fancying Ash Ketchum, which uh, landed to me somehow um, with a rather odd nickname of Isla Bash. Um, wasn't used for a lot of things, um, admittedly, because my friends weren't really the nicknaming type. Um, not, not really. I mean, there was a little bit of it, but not sort of really. <laughs> um, so when I sort of started going online and started doing a lot of stuff online, um, I took the, well, actually just before that, I'm going to go back one step. Um, so there is this this game called Music Music 2000 um, on the PlayStation that um, one of my friends uh, had, and when we used to create songs together, I was listed as being ILA. Hence, you know, that's one of the few times that the nicknames we did actually get used. Um, and when I went online, here we go, um, and started sort of posting on forums and various things like that, um, sort of my first forum was the South Park one. And I made myself, um, or made my screen name, ILA, um, because, you know, screen names are a good way of keeping yourself anonymous. Um, and certainly as a teenager or a teenage girl on the internet, in the early 2000s, it felt, you know, a little bit safer just to not you know, put out there my actual identity. Um, and then when I went from there to the Yu-Gi-Oh fans, I became Isla Genocchi. Um And I made a lot of friends on that forum and a lot of people were calling me ILA um, because of that. So, uh, you know, by the time I decided that I was going to have a pen name, I was already very used to being ILA. And, you know, the, those initials kind of felt like a second name to me. Um, and then just before I decided that I was going to start publishing, um, I did a Google search of my own name um, and discovered my, my, when I say my own name, I mean my actual name, uh, and discovered there was already an American author with my actual name. Um, and obviously, as a fledgling author, you don't want people confusing you with somebody else. Um, certainly, if you're going to be publishing like 
be the you know even if you're publishing very similar things you still want your own brand you still want your own recognition so you want to be sort of separate from this other person and as like well okay i'll take ila and put it with put it with my surname and create an author pen name from from that um and it was initially ila and not either um so i even had like the the letters um capitalized uh but i didn't put the dots between them because that's that's how I did it with my, my screen name. I had it as capital I, capital L, capital A, but with no dots between them, acknowledging that they, they are initials. Um, which meant when people started phoning for ILA, they actually were phoning and saying ILA. Um, and yeah, I kind of recognised very quickly that that was what it was going to be. And I, at some point, decided to make the, the switch sort of official and go from ILA to ILA. Um, and that's why it's spelled ILA, by the way, and <laughs> not the actual way that you spell ILA, because that is actually a name. <laughs> Funnily enough, just, just not the way I spell it. Um, yeah, so that is very much the origins and I know they are not you know necessarily the kind of origins that you should be proud of um, when coming up with a pen name but <laughs> at the same time it was something that you know I'd spent a, a good number of years being ILA um, in the process of becoming ILA so that it was something that I already felt was a part of me and it was an extension of, of me it didn't feel like a completely separate person that I was creating just as a pen name um so that really helped in kind of accepting you know you know the, the whole pen name sort of thing um in terms of you know what it means to me personally I sort of touched upon it a little bit when I mentioned the fact that there is another author out there with my actual name um and that you know it, it helps create brand awareness and I know that's a weird thing to say as an author because as an author you shouldn't be thinking of yourself as a brand but you kind of are <laughs> people kind of recognize the names that therefore that makes it kind of a brand um and you know I've spent a lot of time over the last 10 or so years making sure that Isla Golden is me by which I mean if you type my pen name into a Google search, all of the top searches are me. Uh, they are connected to me. They're my YouTube channel, they're my Facebook, they are my books, um, there are various of my videos. It, it all ties back to me. I mean, my author's den is there as well, I, and various bits and pieces like that. So I have done a very good job of making sure that when you type in my pen name, it comes back to me. Um, Whereas, you know, you type in my actual name and you're going to get some hits from this other person. And that is, I think, the, the sort of the, the very, very important part of, you know, when you sort of make a decision to, to give yourself a pen name, especially in this day and age um, where people do online searches and do Google you and do look you up and, and stuff like that to make sure that everything is coming back to you and not back to somebody else. Um, because as I said, you as an author kind of are a brand and you need to sort of be very, very conscious and very aware that everything that you are putting back, putting out there that is going to get tied back to you is what you want to be getting tied back to you. And, you know, as soon as anything sort of crops up that maybe you're not, you know, you, you kind of might want to think about what you're doing there. <laughs> um, but just in sort of like general terms and general ways of sort of doing things, yeah, it's it's very important, very essential that you are making yourself clearly recognised for the things that you want to be clearly recognised for, and that you know you are a brand. And I know it's such a weird way of, of talking about yourself and and stuff like that. Because I don't think of Isla Golden as being a brand. I think of Isla Golden as being another part of me. 
Um, and you know, that's that's the writer part. That's Isla Golden is the writer and, and my actual name, that's everything else. Um, but I'm still like, you know, they're, they're still one person, they're still all me, they're still, you know, all connected and all nice and nice and tidy with me. Um, but they're the two sort of sides of what I'm doing and what I'm trying to achieve and you know it's not confusing at all to think of myself as just being one person with two names but when I actually think about it it's it's one person with a name and then a brand <laughs> and that brand happens to be my pen name um yeah I think I know a lot of this is it's sort of a very modern way of thinking about things and I, I recognize that it's a very modern way of thinking about things but I, I also recognise that I have done a very good job over the last 10 years of creating my brand um, and making my pen name something that is, you know, going to be easily recognisable, it's going to be easily tied back to me and I don't have to worry about it being confused with anybody else because I have put that work in. <laughs> Um, all right, okay, um, I'm fairly certain this is a little bit of a confusing one, uh, maybe, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully it's been an interesting one. Um, I'm hoping, you know, learning, you know, the origin of, of my pen name is interesting for somebody. <laughs> all right, okay, so... Next time, we are going back to the topic of becoming a homeowner. Um, there, are, there are reasons why it's coming up again quite so soon. I didn't expect it necessarily to come up again quite so soon, um, but there are reasons why I want to talk about it again next time, which I will talk about next time. <laughs> so, yeah, with that said I hope you guys have enjoyed this one I hope you guys are interested to find out why I want to talk about it again so soon next time and I will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya